Why praise and worship? What, what is so special about it? In the book of John chapter 4 verses 24 the Bible tells us that God is seeking people to worship Him in spirit and in truth. Now they used here a very special word, a stronger word. Seeking. Uh, it, they would have said, Jesus would have said, God is waiting for people to worship Him in a spirit and in truth. But God is not just waiting. He Himself is seeking. He enjoys, oh, I don't know what He does, but I know when we praise and worship Him, we put Him on the throne. Amen. Amen. And when he is on his throne, that's when he orders things into your life. If you haven't sat him on his throne yet, don't expect him to proclaim things in your life. Somebody say Amen. Now the word here says spirit and truth. Amen. Amen. Now that is also very tricky. We need to understand it. Of course, when we say spirit, we know that we are talking about the spirit of man. Connected with the spirit of God. Reaching out to a spirit, God who is a spirit. And to God who is spirit. Your spirit and the spirit of God they connect reaching unto God who is spirit. Of course we don't see him but he's in the spirit realm. It also means worshiping with all our hearts. I was wondering about the meaning of your heart, doing something with your heart. Amen. Amina. Uh, sometimes things are spoken over us, but we don't get to to dig deep to actually understand what is it. So, with all your heart, to worship in the spirit, worshiping with your heart, that is to say, you are not allowing so many things to distract you from what you are doing. Now you are focused. One here when we say that I did this with all my heart. It means that your heart was not divided. We are so multi-purpose nowadays. You you could be driving while texting and then making phone calls. As you look at the people outside and wave at them. As you eat corn. You understand? Because that is why we get many problems on the road. Because people don't drive the car. Are you getting the picture? You know, you know, you know, I will not. One time I was driving with my father. 
because he, he was he was also a driver himself. Praise the Lord. And he told me, hold the steering wheel with two hands. He saw me using one hand. He said, hold the steering wheel with two hands. And he told me, stop looking around and everywhere. I told him that's how they taught us to drive in America. Example, how many of you understand what I mean when I say doing something with all your heart? All, all of you, you on one thing. It's what it means to worship with your heart and in spirit. Now, other than that, it is not worship. God does not enjoy you when you have so many things you are doing it's not an honor it is like saying the head of state is here you are still talking to him then you say wait a minute you get your phone hello hello those tomatoes I told you take them off fridge. you should put them in the fridge. Okay. Uh, please, excuse me, Mr. Mr. What were we talking you about? You see, you don't even remember. Now, imagine if you are worshipping God like that. If we had authority, we would tell you, switch your phone off. But you know we are afraid of you. You might not give the offering today. Praise the Lord. We'll tell you at least sit in one place. But you cannot rest. If we really want to be effective. But I'm telling you this. If we can touch the throne of God. Then we will have settled it all. We will leave this place with a done deal. There is no reason why we beseech disease to leave. There is no reason why we beg money. All those are not necessary. Even casting out devils becomes a job. Go, go. When I was uh, at some time, some time back, I saw a devil tell a man, you can't chase us. Because we had not done the most important thing. When God descends in our midst, we will not need to chase a devil, it will chase itself. You didn't hear that. God in our midst. You won't have to ask for favor. I mean, you can imagine if God is here. You will be touched by the anointing. That alone is enough for you. For the one who had cheated you pray to pray. Without even praying. Our praying will be less. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But who can actually bring you? Who can do that? Who, who will bring his heart? You can bring back your soul. David says, David says he returns my soul. Your soul tends to roam around. So before we go into praise and worship, I wanted to actually to, to prepare you. How many of you are prepared now? You say, I'm ready. Okay, listen to this. A song is not enough. Hallelujah. Amen. May I repeat? A song 
is not enough. But a song with your heart. Amen. Amen. And all of your heart. That is if you are able to concentrate. I know it is not easy. Amen. Amen. There are things you want. There are things you want. Only those are enough to take your heart. Amen. 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 You know, you heart, your heart is already subdivided. The debt took ah, some part of it. Needs took, took, a, it. took a part of it also. Talk to someone and someone answers you like he's absent minded. You say, I, I saw you looking at me. <laughs> the heart is already subdivided. He's present but absent at the Let same me time. ask again. Can you bring your heart back? Let me see your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say this. I am not yet convinced whether you've understood it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sometimes it is why we even close our eyes that you may all be in one place. Amen. Amen. Imagine if your eyes are closed. Praise the Lord. When you close, it means you are closing any other business other than this one. Hallelujah. Amen. So, sometimes we do that. We close our eyes. So that we may be able to forget whatever is around us. Nowadays, it is very hard to find people worshiping with closed eyes. People open their eyes. And if there is something you have not seen before, praise the Lord. Nasala was just on purpose. I decided to reduce on how much lighting we have in church. They are those moving heads. They now you're worshiping. Uh, hallelujah. He says, Hallelujah. 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 Lord, you're so glorious. <laughs> You, you, have, you, are, you, have, you are just singing to God a song, but you are not there. The truth wasn't. But this is the answer. You are not the one God is seeking. Because it says, I'm seeking the people to worship me in spirit and in truth. And that's what we want to do today. Hallelujah. Amen. I was just thinking. And said, uh, because I read a scripture. And says, when the son is of men. Uh, no, no, the, the sons of God looked down on us and they saw the, the, the children of men, uh, women, and they were so beautiful. And they left their places, came down on us, and had affairs with these women. Of course, they lost their positions. They never went back. And they produced giants. Whatever the outcome of what they did was not good. Hallelujah. But listen to this. 
they, they, they saw that the, the, these women were beautiful. And I thought, I wondered how Eve was looking. She must have been the most beautiful creature on earth. God was able to actually make people more beautiful than we think. But what would have been the effect of it? Because those existing today and not mounting up to the other level. But they make the, the son of man walk. This beautiful one has also become a problem. Praise the Lord. She is full of pride. And then those who are seeing her, she has also become a, something. That, and I said, God had to. <laughs> And I said, I think God had to dilute a bit and keep some features to himself. But listen, the verse says, God is able to make all grace. All grace abound towards us that we cannot lack anything. He is able to do it. But he also thinks about the outcome of it. And he says Come these all grace. Need, grace. Let me give them some bit of grace. But if we release ourselves right, we are entitled to all grace. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I see people that are going to overcome and triumph today. I see people who are going to get somewhere in the spirit. I see people who are not going to go back home the same way they came. I see people who are not going to go back home the same way they came. I going to be testimonies. There was a time when worship went into heaven and the presence of the Lord came down. Hallelujah. Amen. And wonderful things happened. Solomon also did worship at the, the, the dedication of the temple and the cloud came down. If you could tell your neighbor that before they came, they prepared themselves so well. Hallelujah. Amen. And they did everything according. According. Oh, I can imagine. If the power of God descended here. Not because we are calling it, but because God is, has received our worship and praise. These things we say, Lord, come. Please descend and do what there. You people are careless. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. So lift your hand and say, Everybody, Mukama.